Hey everyone, you uh, asked to see the uh, lighting options uh, with the um, Tesla Model 3, so here you go. Under controls, uh, lights, and uh, first thing you have here is the headlights. So that's the uh, lights on, that's the parking lights, and that's off. Fog lights aren't making much of a difference, so I don't know. Oh, there they are, you can see them. It's a low light on the bottom. We'll try driving and see how it looks. Uh, in auto, since I'm in park, uh, as soon as I put my foot on the brake, uh, the lights came on. Uh, let's take a look at these two. The um, uh, dome lights uh, I can press. They come on here. In auto, I guess they just go on and off as we open a door. The dome lights go on. So the dome lights can be turned off and on also just by pressing them. And there's also rear dome lights here which also can be turned off with a press and back on so your passengers. And then there's also uh, the ambient lighting down there that just went on. So the ambient light is a light down uh, by your feet. Um, let me see if I can show you comes on it's a very mild little light down by your feet and also here on the sides let me turn it off and on just a little ambient lighting uh, around the uh, cabin that's different than the dome light up top which comes on uh, slowly and goes off slowly I think you can see it come on slowly there. So there's a gear here in the top right that gets you some additional controls. You have uh, headlights after exit. Uh, if it's dark out, the headlights will stay on for a minute if uh, you want as you exit the car. I had that turned off for some reason, so I'll turn it on. It's probably why when I open the door, uh, the lights go out immediately. Uh, this is a, a very faint little light that's on the steering wheel for the uh, roller wheels. Let me show you, see if you can see them. So there's a little light there. I'm going to turn that option off. You can see they disappear. So they just give you a slight uh, lighting on the wheel uh, indicators. Also, um, in the quick controls, have your lighting options, fog light and exterior lighting uh, available in addition to the lighting settings there. So the quick controls come on as soon as you hit controls. Uh, so you have your lights uh, one, one click away um, and you don't have to go into lighting to get to those two core, uh, core options. It's lighting in the glove box. So if you open up the glove box, you'll see the lighting in the glove box. There's some lighting under here, which I think is part of the ambient lighting. Let me see. So there's lighting in there. There's also lighting down in here. I think that's connected to the ambient lighting. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lighting on the um, window and a door unlock. There's lights uh, here and here in the back trunk. little light right here, LED light, and then there's a light in the frunk. Here's the uh, normal headlights, the parking lights, the fog lights with the uh, normal headlights, and then the side view of the uh, lights, rear view lights. The uh, side camera has a blinker that blinks. And then the back. Here's the uh, rear brake lights and how I got them to turn on for you guys. That's everything about lighting. Let's uh, do some driving. Okay, so we're driving and um, of course off goes off. Park has park. On is on. Auto is auto. And then uh, I guess if we go into park mode here, ambient lights come on. I mean the um, Dome lights come on, ambient lights came on, uh, although I have the ambient lights on. Ambient lights go off, dome light goes off, 
and then you can keep the um, ambient lights on if you want uh, just to give a sort of a cabin uh, feel if you push your blinker you get the um, high beams uh, and they don't seem to be the automatic high beams that I had in my Model S that if a car was coming at us it could sense uh, a car's coming at us and um, turn off the high beams Hey, I just read uh, 2018.18 will include auto high beams. Cool. It's like a normal um, high beam control. You push to get the high beams on, you pull to turn them off, and then you can pull to flash them if you want, uh, just like any other uh, high beam on the blinker control. So that's pretty normal. Uh, let's see, I don't believe the um, headlights turn as you turn, so let's see if we see them turn here. And I don't believe they are. So I believe the Model S also had uh, turning headlights uh, to uh, turn uh, with the turn to maybe highlight where you're turning into. These don't seem to do that. We'll try it again here and see if uh, we see the lighting turn a little more abruptly than our turn. And I don't see that. So that is the, uh, head, that is the headlight situation. I uh, just keep it on auto and auto. Uh, maybe we can see the fog lights here. Let's try. Yeah, you can see the lighting uh, at the bottom of the road uh, come on and off with the fog lights. Okay, everybody, uh, thanks a lot. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. The Insurance Institute of Highway Safety just started releasing their review of the Model 3 and uh, the headlights got an acceptable rating compared to the Model S, which had a poor rating. So uh, Model 3's headlights are better. And the crash test came out superior, so uh, it looks really good. Hey, everybody. Uh, the... Hey, everyone. Uh, you asked if uh, to show... Hey, everyone. You show... You... <laughs> A little disappointed in the automatic high beams not working. Uh, I really like that feature in my Model S. Um, and I gotta believe they just use the camera to uh, detect an oncoming car with headlights. So uh, you would think they could add that feature without too much work.